Go. Hi, my name is Heather, and using animals in experimental research needs to stop. My key points are, animals experience physical and emotional pain just as humans do. Recent studies have shown that animals rarely serve as good models for the human body, and there are alternatives to animal testing. Animals are fellow citizens of the United States who have rights just as humans. that we move on from medical research from last century and use science from the 21st century. Harvard West Institute has created organs on chips that contain human cells which mimic human organs. This can be used in disease research, drug testing, and toxicity testing. This has been more productive than use animals in these studies. Cybertex developed a method to see if a product would result in a skin allergy in humans that incorporates Matique's epiderm tissue model, <coughs> which is a three-dimensional human cell-derived model that mimics normal skin. This allows research for drugs, chemicals, and cosmetics without the need to use guinea pigs, mice, or rabbits. Nine out of ten experimental drugs fail in clinical studies because we cannot accurately predict how they will behave in people based on laboratory and animal studies. Pfizer's drug Lipitor did not have positive results with animal experiments. It wasn't until a research scientist suggested human volunteers to test the drug, which is when the drug was proven to be effective. In 1954, a study found that smoking causes lung cancer. The report was dismissed because lung cancer, due to the inhalation of cigarette smoke, could not be induced by animals. The U.S. Surgeon General was not able to issue any warnings about smoking cigarettes causing lung cancer due to animal research for, four, for 30 years. Animals seem to be similar to humans because they are living and breathing species but their systems are not like humans. Acetaminophen is poisonous to cats, but works for humans. Penicillin is toxic to guinea pigs, but is a regular prescribed medicine to humans. Oral contraceptives prolong blood clotting in dogs, but increase a human's risk of developing blood clots. Obvious differences between humans and animals in terms of physiology, anatomy, and metabolism make it difficult to apply data from animal studies to human conditions. There have been laws to protect animals, such as the Animal Welfare Act, AWA. However, it is full of loopholes, and it doesn't stop the abuse of animals in these research facilities.
Yeah. 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 The AWA doesn't cover rats, mice, mice and birds. Warm-blooded animals only have specific standards for housing, feeding, and veterinary care. If a researcher deemed pain as necessary in a study, they are able to withhold pain medication for the animal. One example of a loophole was in the inspection of one researcher's notes, which said a monkey rocking back and forth is something that they just do. Which is obvious, it's not something that they just do. It was just needed to be noted to continue the study. The philosopher Ray Descartes believed that animals could be compared to machines, that they lack ways of thinking such as, boy this hurts, or I wish they would stop doing this to me. He believed animal pain was not true pain and it did not matter. Descartes and his fellow followers performed an experiment where they nailed animals by their paws on boards and tortured them. When the animal showed signs of pain, Descartes dismissed these cries and concluded his experiment by saying, The sound is no different than a machine functioning improperly, just a whining gear that needs oil. Fast forward 360 years, and Descartes' philosophy still appeals to some, but most contemporary scientists now know that animals do in fact feel pain. Robert DeFranco, who is the director of the Animal Behavior Center, said, Animals have emotions. They can feel anger. They have secondary emotions like love, jealousy, and greed. The proof may rest in part of the brain called the amygdala. They believe that fear and possibly other emotions are linked to neurons in the amygdala. It is a larger area in dogs than humans. So we could say that dom dogs will experience more emotions. They live more in the moment than humans do. Animal rights supporters Nevis and Peta challenge society's view that animals exist solely for human use. They believe that an animal has inherent worth, a value completely separate from their use to humans. The question is not can they reason, nor can they talk, but can they suffer? Jeremy Bentham, 1789. He continues to say, why should the law refuse its protection to any sensitive being? The time will come when humanity will extend its mantle over everything which breathes. In Peter Singer's book, Animal Liberation, he stated that the principle of equality does not require equal treatment. It requires equal consideration. Suffering as a vital characteristic that gives human or animals the right to equal consideration. It has been proven that we do have other options. Human tissue and cell-based research methods, cadavers, high-fidelity human patient simulator, and computational models are more progressive, more precise, and even less expensive. Scientists are able to use human brain cells to study tumors, skin, and bone marrow. 
Studies have been proven that animals have emotions and deserve to live a life free of torture and suffering, just as humans. All the facts prove that we can save animals and humans when we use alternative methods. Animal experiments do not persist because they are the best science. They persist because of the experimenters' personal opinions and old traditions. In animal research, as with slot machines, if you pull the traditional levers enough time, a, win a winner eventually appears. However, animal research is ethically wrong, limited, and flawed. In turn, animal research has failed to translate into improvements in human health. Thank you. Ruff, ruff.